Welcome everybody. Coach Luis here, health fitness specialist with Exos at Autodesk. Welcome to Exercise with Exos, the class usually taught by Coach Jazzy. I am filling in for her here today and we do have a doozy of a workout on our hands. So she's the one that programmed this. So there is still a hint of Jazzy in this workout. What we're going to be doing here today, you guys, is imam style um, intervals, uh, six different intervals where we're actually gonna be splitting them into two different things. We actually kind of have 12-ish movements to, to go over. It's gonna be three rounds, typical about 18 minutes. <clears throat> and we'll, I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into what exactly we're doing. So 30, you know, the, each minute is gonna be split into right down the middle, 30 seconds each. So what we're gonna start with is one and a half squats for 30 seconds. What that is is all the way down, halfway up, all the way down, all the way up. So big time on those glutes and quads there. Let me get my little thing set up. Welcome, Sue. And, uh, all right, cool. So like I said, what we're going to be doing, that's our first thing is going to be the one and a half squats. So we're, we're down, we're halfway up, we're down, and then we're all the way up. That's our first thing. Next thing we're going to be doing right after that is skips. And this is still in our first interval. So kind of double tapping the ground with our feet. If you're in a place where this isn't going to work, marching is going to be the substitute. That's our second thing. After that, we're going to come down to the ground for push-ups and then mountain climbers. So push-ups, pretty standard here. You guys, you want those hands planted under the shoulders. We can either be from kneeling here, making sure the whole body, you know, head to knees are nice and straight. If you're up on the toes, it's the head to toes, nice and straight. And then we're working, squeezing through the armpits, squeezing that chest and those triceps to come on up. All right, you guys, so after that, it's our mountain climbers. So we're gonna pretty much gonna stay down here in this position, this kind of high plank position. And then we're gonna drive one knee at a time, keeping the core nice and tight. We wanna make sure there's no excessive twisting at the pelvis there, we want to keep it nice and flat. Solid core exercise there. After that, we are going to get up onto our feet and do a reverse lunge to, excuse me, a reverse lunge to jump. So we have a couple options here. You do not have to jump. If you want to try this out today, it's going to be kind of fun. So we're just going to step back like we're going into our reverse lunge. And then on the way up, we're going to give the ground a little bit extra power and just kind of hop back into that starting position. So again, step back, that front leg is doing most of the work, back leg is just there for support. We are gonna do one side at a time. So each minute, it's going to be split into 30 seconds. We'll do right leg a bunch. After 30 seconds, we'll get into the left leg. All right, following that, we got, we're back down to the ground, plank, shoulder taps, Again, this can be from the knees or from the toes. We're up nice and tall, tapping one shoulder at a time. Core is nice and tight. A little bit of weight shift, guys, but we don't want any crazy twisting either at the shoulders or the hips, keeping it relatively flat on the back. After that, it's frog jumps. So this is kind of a new one, you guys. What we're doing here is we're up in that high plank position, and we're going to jump those feet to being outside the hands and then back into that high plank. And so we don't have to do this super fast, but what we want is really to loosen up those hips and drive them forward, kind of landing in that little frog position. All right, guys, following that, we still have two more intervals I have to explain here. Skater hops and then the two inch run in place. So skater hops, typically we're just going side to side, trying to plant on one foot, Working on our kind of side to side stability. I highly recommend no shoes, no socks for this one, just to give our feet that extra workout. Following that, we're gonna be doing the two inch run in place. So with the hips back, the knees are bent. We're kind of just tapping or slowly trying to run, moving our feet super fast, not coming more than two inches up off the ground though. So that's our two inch run in place. Following that, it's everybody's favorite burpees and marches. So with the burpee, you guys, we're just bringing those hands down to the ground. We're jumping those feet back out. We can jump the feet back in and then give ourselves a little jump at the end. Feel free to subtract the jump at the end if you're in a place where jumping is just probably not the best idea. And then finally, you guys kind of know the drill for marches. This can also be a substitute for the skips earlier in the workout. 
all I want to see is those knees up to around hip level and up in a nice tall posture for that upper body. All right, you guys. So lots that I just explained. What I'm going to do is go ahead and drop that workout in the chat just so you guys can see. All right, there we go. So that is dropped into the chat. <clears throat> what we can do now is get into our warm up. And the warm up is going to consist of we're going to warm up that lower body first, just starting with some air squats. So let's screw those feet into the ground. We're going to spread the ground apart a little bit with our feet. Everyone's stance is a little bit different. Let's unlock those knees, hips, and ankles, sink those hips back, and then we'll come all the way up using those glutes and those quads. As we go, we're maybe getting a little bit faster. Good job, you guys. Good job. Let's do one more. Good. Okay. Next up, we're going to do our dynamic runner stretch. So let's come to the bottom of our space. Make sure we got some space in front of us. We're going to push the hips back. Let our bodies hang down towards the ground, just stretching out the low back and the hamstrings here for a moment. Let's bend the knees, walk those hands out into a nice high plank position. Big lunge with that left foot, where that left foot's going to land outside that left hand. We're going to twist, reach up towards the ceiling or sky. Trying to keep that back leg straight. All right, let's return that left hand to the ground, return the left foot back to meet the right. Same thing is going to happen on the other side now. So big lunge with that right. We're going to reach, twist. Keep that back leg straight, breathe. All right, right hand returns back to the ground here, you guys. We're gonna return that right leg back and then walk those hands back in towards the feet, bending the knees as needed. We'll straighten those legs out and then slowly roll ourselves all the way up. All right, good job, you guys. Give everything a little bit of a shake if you need to. Now, before we get started, make sure you got your space secure and some water on hand, just so we can stay nice and hydrated throughout this workout. This one's gonna be a doozy. Jazzy did not pull any punches on this one. All right, you guys, so like I said, each minute is split into 30 second intervals instead of our usual 45 or 50 to 10 and 15, 30 seconds each for everything. So probably good going to be doing less volume of each of these things, but it's going to be a lot of transition, no rest programmed in. So strategize and do your best to rest when you feel the need to do so. All right, guys, let me set this timer up. And we are starting with one and a half squats and then those skips and or marches. Here we go. Three, two, one. All right. 30 seconds, one and a half squats. So all the way down, halfway up all the way down, all the way up. Good job, you guys, good job. I wouldn't worry about the time too much. Let's just focus on those quality reps. Doesn't matter how much time a quality rep takes. What matters most is it's just a quality rep. Coming up on our first transition here. All right, guys, time to skip and or march. Here we go. Up nice and tall with that upper body, whether you're skipping or marching. Pretend like you got a string on the top of your head and it is pulling you up towards the ceiling. We're staying nice and tall. After this, you guys, the next minute is split into push-ups and mountain climbers. Here we go, you guys. Almost time to transition. Here we go with our push-ups. 30 seconds worth of push-ups. Great job, you guys, great job. Remember, strategize, break it up as needed for you. You know, if that's only a few good reps at a time, then a break, that's perfect. Gonna keep repping it out, but we're about to transition into mountain climbers. Here we go. Good job, you guys. With these mountain climbers, make sure you're not pushing away from the ground too hard so much that your upper back starts to round. 
want to keep it a nice high plank as we go back and forth here with the legs. Almost done. Five seconds left. All right, let's stand it on up. We got that reverse lunge. So let's start with that right leg in front. What we're going to be doing, a couple options, step back and then a little hop, or we're stepping back and we're driving that left knee forward. So you're ending with that left knee driven forward, no hop. Give you guys the option there, but we're still just working just on that right leg. So we should feel a majority of our work as we come back to that starting position happening with that right leg. All right, guys, almost time to transition here to the left. Let's get that left side going. Remember, it doesn't have to be the highest jump ever if you decided to jump. It's just a slight little hop. But what's changing compared to when we usually just do the reverse lunge is we're putting a lot more force into the ground as we come up. Developing that force even a little bit quicker. Almost time to transition here. All right, you guys, plank with shoulder tap. Here we go, 30 seconds worth. Good job, you guys. Core is nice and tight. If it's just a few reps at a time and then a break, totally cool. We got about 10 seconds left. Up next is those frog jumps. Three, two, one. All right, so we're up in this high plank. Trying to jump those legs or those feet outside the hands and then come back to it. This is something you're having difficulty with. Let's just go ahead and either hang out in a high plank position or you can try and get into the bottom of that squat and just hang out because that will be kind of the two end ranges of what this dynamic thing is. Uh, time to transition here though, guys. We're going into our skater hops next. So light little hop side to side, working on just planting on one leg, balancing. You guys are like me, you're in no shoes, no socks. This can definitely be a good one too to work out the feet. Got about 10 seconds left here before the two inch run in place. Good job, you guys. Light little hops here. Don't have to be super far. All right. Time for that two inch run in place. So for this one, the hips back a little bit. We're in that nice athletic stance, knees bent. Then we're just kind of giving the ground a little bit of a drum roll with the balls of our feet. <sighs> Breathing as we go, core is tight to support us. And then we're taking any rest that we need. We're coming towards the end of that interval anyway. Burpees and marches coming up in three, two, one. All right, guys, hands on the ground. We're jumping those feet out, jumping them back in. A little bit of a hop if it works for you. Only got to do a few of these each time. Take little breaks as needed here. You guys, we've got about 10 seconds left before we're ending the round with our marches. Three, two, one, we are marching. And with this one, you guys, I know we're probably feeling tired at the end of round one, but don't be afraid to put a little bit more force into the ground. If that's, if you're in an appropriate place to do so. Remember, we're still up nice and tall. We got 10 seconds left of round one here. We're going into our one and a half squats at the top here in three, two, one. All right. Oops, just did a whole squat, didn't pause. All right. So now we kind of got a taste of what we're doing for the next couple of rounds here, you guys. So strategize appropriately, rest appropriately. It doesn't work out too well if we just go pedal to the metal and just don't rest. Body does not start to perform very well after that. Almost time to transition into our skips. Here we go. All right, guys. Double tapping the ground here with the balls of your feet or you're marching. Good job, you guys. 
depending on that movement, we're kind of getting in one high quality set for 30 seconds here. Maybe you're breaking that up. All right, we're going into our push ups. Three, two, one. Let's find our space on the ground. Here we go. Good job, you guys. Way to work here. We are almost done here. It's almost time for those mountain climbers. Rest as needed. All right, we're on the clock for our mountain climbers. Let's get some high quality reps in before we rest again. Remember, no big twisting at the hips or shoulders here, you guys. Keep it nice and level. Almost done with this interval. Reverse lunges are up next. We're going with that right leg first. Three, two, one. All right, we're in our reverse lunge to jump or to knee drive interval. Remember, it's just that front leg working really hard. Coming back into the starting position. Good job, you guys. Almost done here, almost time for that left side. Rest as needed. Here we go, three, two, one. That left side now. Violently kind of pushing the earth away from us. We're deciding to hop. You can even give the ground a little bit more force, even if you're not hopping, just kind of push it down and away. Working on our rate of force development a little bit here. We're almost done though. Last rep. Good. All right. Plank with shoulder taps. Let's find the ground again here in a moment. Good job, you guys. We're halfway through here. Let's get a few high quality reps in. Good. Try not to twist, you guys. <sighs> Doing our frog jumps up next. Here we go. It's a really good one for dynamically kind of loosening up that hip flexion or that knee coming towards the chest a little bit here. Ooh. It is tiring though, we're almost done. Skater hops up next, three, two, one. All right, we're just doing our little side to side hops, trying to plant, make sure the arch doesn't collapse, make sure our knee doesn't excessively go over the arch and towards the midline of the body. A little bit is okay, a little bit's natural, but we don't wanna send that knee inwards too much. Keep that glute going, we're almost done. About 10 seconds before it's the two inch run in place. All right, you guys, time for that two inch run in place. Let's find that athletic position, hips back, knees bent. And then it's just the top, or not the top, the balls of our feet, drum rolling a little bit on the ground. Quick feet, quick feet. Good job, you guys, good job. Keep going or rest as needed. We got about 10 seconds left here. Burpees and marches up next to close out round two. Three, two, one, here we go. Hands to the ground, feet jump out, feet jump back in, give ourselves a little hop. Don't forget to keep that core tight, you guys, when you jump out into that plank. Good work, good work. About 10 seconds left until we're marching. Three, two, one. Here we go. We're closing out round two. Man, so much is happening within that six minutes. Feels like 10 minutes. 
Great work though so far, you guys. By now we've learned you know, what works, what doesn't for some of these movements, how much to push for some of these movements. We're coming up on round three here, about three seconds. So let's make it good. Let's also make it sustainable. Here we go, one and a half squats. Halfway up, all the way down, all the way up. There we go. Good. Good job, you guys, good job. We're coming up on a few seconds left. It's our skips coming up next. Three, two, one, here we go. Up nice and tall. Remember, whether you're marching or skipping, knees are coming to hip level. All right, guys, coming towards the end, it's push-ups up next. <sighs> Breathe, rest as needed. We're going in three, two, one. All right, time for those push-ups. Great work, guys, great work. Keep it going, even if it means just a couple of reps at a time. Coming towards the end of this interval, it's mountain climbers up next. All right, let's get into it. Mountain climbers, here we go. Driving one knee at a time, core is tight. Back's nice and flat here, you guys. Staring contest with the ground. Got about 10 seconds left. Good job, all right. Coming up on our reverse lunge, three, two, one. Let's get that going. Remember, right foot, right foot in front as we go here. Good job, you guys. Load up that front hip. About 10 more seconds. All right, guys. Time to switch over to that left leg. Here we go. Remember, driving that knee with no jump. Very good option as well. As far as loading up that hip goes. Good. Almost done, 10 seconds. All right, great work, everybody, great work. All right, we're back down to the ground. It's a plank with the shoulder tabs. After this, it is frog jumps. We're getting towards the end here. Good work, guys, good work. Remember, those can be done from either the knees or up on the toes, up to you. We're almost done though, frog jumps coming up next. Here we go. Definitely a good one to practice here, you guys. I know my hips are feeling a lot looser as I keep jumping into this position. Great work, we're almost done here. A few more seconds and then we're changing. Skater hops up next. We can see the end in sight. Here we go, skater hops. Slight bend in that knee as we land here. You guys don't wanna land with the straight leg. Just working on that side to side. Good work, 15 seconds left. This is one of our lighter ones. Let's see if we can improve, get 1% better at it today. Definitely a tough one to do balance wise. All right, guys, two inch run in place. Let's set up. Hips back, knees bent. There we go. Drum roll on the ground. 
the balls of those feet. Let's keep it going. Let's get it burning. 10 seconds left. 10 seconds left. Okay, burpees and marches, guys. This is our final minute that we are going to work. Here we go, burpees. Remember, core tight as we jump out into that plank. Take a moment. Make sure you're solid in each position. 10 seconds, let's go. All right, guys, marches to close it out. This is our final 30 seconds. Here we go. All right, y'all. Keep it up nice and tall. I know we're tired. Let's go all the way through. Deep of the timer here. We got seven seconds. Core's tight. And there we go. That is the end of the workout. Timer is beeped. All done. All seconds accounted for. Good job, you guys. Man, that was a doozy. All right, take a moment, stand up, do what you need to do. If that's a lap around the room, I know that helps me a lot when I work out. Just taking a moment to stand and begin to slow our breathing down. Grab water, of course. Okay, so in order to cool down, let's go ahead and start in standing. What we're going to be doing is a quick quad stretch. Get to the tissue on the front of the legs here. And what we're going to need, either a wall, furniture, something solid preferably, just because we don't want to make this a balance thing. We were just working on a lot of balance stuff. So once you find a spot to put a hand on, what we're going to do is plant that left foot, bring that right heel in towards the glute. Make sure our knees are right next to each other, like you see mine here. We're just gonna stand up as tall as we can, whoa, and just breathe. Slow that breathing right down here, you guys. Good job, there we go. We're starting to calm down, let's do one more big breath. And on that exhale, we can release that right foot, let's do the same thing. Other side, get some support with that right hand as that left hand brings the left heel in towards the left glute. Remember, our knees are right next to each other, point straight down here. There we go, you guys, good job, good job. Slowly just coming back to being calm. Taking more breaths in through the nose. Good, all right, let's slowly release that left foot or left ankle. Good job, you guys. Okay, next thing we're going to do, we're gonna stay in standing and open up that upper body, the front of those shoulders and chest a little bit more. So feet planted about shoulder width apart. Let's take those hands, interlace those fingers behind the back. We're gonna let, let those hands get really heavy, drop them down to the ground. Open up that chest, and then we're breathing into that chest, maybe looking up at the ceiling a little bit as well. Good job, you guys. Big, deep inhales. It's going to start sending air into our chest here. Make sure those shoulders are both together and then also down. We're not doing any shrugging. Excellent work, let's do one more big breath. And after that slow, long exhale, we can slowly release our hands. That is all the time I have left for this session here today. Thank you guys for coming and working out so hard. I will definitely relate to Jazzy that the workout was hard, but everybody killed it. Great work today, you guys. If you wanna do some regen, we have stretch break later today. That's at 2.30 p.m. with myself. Dance Fusion with John starts right now at 1230. 
And then there's abs and core later on at 4.30 p.m. with Brittany. So don't miss out on those opportunities. Good job. I'll catch you guys in that next session.